We have a strong relationship with Rwanda, Mr. Speaker, and both sides remain committed to the policy. Rwanda is a signatory to the United Nations Conventions and has a strong track record of supporting refugees, including for the UNHCR. This is a disappointing judgment, and we will seek permission to appeal it. We hope that the process will be swift, and I'm glad that the Court of Appeal has recognised in paragraph 16 of its summary judgment that this is an important consideration that should be timely dealt, dealt with in a timely fashion. We on this side of the House are committed to doing whatever it takes to stop the boats. The Government remains resolute that we will do exactly that in partnership with Rwanda and through changes to our law. Yeah, today's judgment shows that the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary have no plan to fix the Tories' small boats chaos. Exactly. And their only policy only. to send everyone to Rwanda is now completely unravelling. Yeah. Ministers have already admitted it will cost £169,000 to send each person to Rwanda, each on top of the £140 million cheques they have already written, with and more costs to come. Bit. But now the Court has found that Ministers did not even do the basic work to make sure that the Rwanda scheme was legal or safe. They are expecting Rwanda to take asylum decisions under a memorandum of understanding, but the judgment reveals the Rwandan asylum system only takes around 100 decisions a year at the moment, has had a 100 per cent rejection rate for Afghanistan, Syria and Yemen, and under the Israel-Rwanda deal, the government breached the memorandum of understanding, people were routinely targeted by agents and gangs and moved clandestinely to, tr to Uganda, making trafficking worse. This is their chaos, their Tory chaos, their boats chaos and their broken asylum system. We don't need more slogans, we need solutions, not more gimmicks, we need a government with a grip. She's clearly not capable of it, so why doesn't she move over and leave way to someone else? Yeah. While we are trying to stop the boats, Labour have simply obstructed progress time and time again and offered no <coughs> solutions. The Prime Minister and I have promised to do whatever it takes to stop the boats. Labour have apparently pledged to do whatever it takes to stop us stopping the boats. Okay. Can, can I just Say, gently yeah. to the Home Secretary, this is about the statement of the judge about migration. This isn't about the Labour Party. This is about what the government's doing. I don't want to interfere, I don't want to intervene, but we do need to stick to what the statement's meant to be about. Home Secretary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. So, in conclusion, in any event, while Labour continue to celebrate today's judgment and continue to celebrate every obstacle in our way, we will not be deterred, we will not give up, we will do whatever it takes for the British people to stop the boats. Yeah. Yeah.